Welcome to Phase 2 of the Hearts and Horses Reopening. When you arrive for a class in the Lucky Hearts Arena, please enter through the main door. You can use your elbow to open the automatic door. Everyone's first step when entering the building is to wash your hands at one of our awesome new hand sanitizing stations. We are asking all riders and family members to bring their own water bottle and always enter the building wearing a mask. In the reception, you will notice a lot of blue tape on the ground, including arrows to show the direction of travel and areas where riders and family members shouldn't enter. These areas are for staff and volunteers only. You will want to follow the blue arrows on the ground. The second step when you arrive is to sign in. All riders and family members will sign in as normal, but there is an additional column on the sign-in sheet that needs to be signed for our health check questionnaire. If you have not had these symptoms in the last 24 hours, you're good to continue. Please alert staff immediately if you have had any of these symptoms in the last 24 hours. We request you bring your own mask, but we do have some on site to use if you forget. The next step is to put on your helmet. If you're borrowing a helmet from Hearts and Horses, the helmet and its cubby will have your name on it. The helmet will stay in its cubby at Hearts and Horses, but will be used only by you for the summer. We ask that family members help confirm a correct fit. Helmet should fit snugly on your head, and the chin strap should be tight enough not to go over the chin. The last step is to go through the door from the community corral to the external observation area to wait for your instructor. We are asking that only one family member accompany riders and stay in the external observation area during class. All instructors are wearing an apron with hand sanitizer, Kleenex, and a plastic bag for used Kleenex. Rider and horse litter masks may be removed after the last girth check. They will be stored on a paper plate and must go back on before dismounting. Once the rider has dismounted, they and the family member can exit the building through the east side of the arena. Before leaving, place your helmet on the big black box and riders and family members should wash their hands. If you need to use the bathroom, there is one available in both arenas. Each bathroom is disinfected multiple times a day. When you arrive for a class in the Crow Arena, also please enter through the main door. You can use your elbow to open the automatic door. Once again, the first steps when entering the building are to wash your hands at the sanitizing station and sign in. Then follow the blue tape down the hallway to the arena viewing room to wait for your instructor. Once the rider has dismounted, they and the family member can exit the building through the person door on the west side of the arena and wash their hands at the outdoor sanitizing station. Be careful, the water in the station can get hot in the sun. If you are borrowing a helmet from Hearts and Horses, leave it on the white table and your instructor will sanitize it and return it to your designated copy in the helmet room for you to pick up next week. If you need to use the bathroom, there is one available in both arenas. Each bathroom is disinfected multiple times a day. The instructor or volunteers will untack the horse after each rider. And the tack and equipment used for that horse will be sanitized. <laughs> 